Chop Chop Early, Modern King Boxing. There's a lot going on in the world of boxing right after this intro. Let's get it. What's good, as you can see, um, Alicia Bumgarner has taken on a pupil. Um, I think the young lady name is Chantel Chicanito Navarro, who is an um, amateur's champion. Um, she's basically um, a really good um, amateur boxer. She's six-time interna- Golden Gloves winner or international winner. Um, as you can see, among her having a fight with the um, chick Christina Leonardo, Leonardo, who has beaten her before. So um, she's the only person to give um, Alicia Bumgarner a loss. So Alicia Bumgarner is avenging that loss. I was watching the weigh-in and um, man, Alicia Bumgarner looks really, really confident. She didn't seem rattled at all. Very, very confident. And the chick that beat her was, um, you know, really confident too. She was saying that she had been taking on men for the last three weeks in sparring so she's not afraid of Alicia Bumgarner's power but and Alicia Bumgarner when they had the face off explained to her you're not fighting a, a man you're fighting a woman so and that right there told me Alicia Bumgarner still has the eye of the tiger and she wants to keep her belts because she's very proud of her accomplishments so there you have it on to better news also Canelo Alvarez has seemed to have taken PBC by the balls and he gets to do anything he wants to do. He can fight anybody he wants to fight. He's at the point now where he's just um, turning into Michael Jordan. He's golfing and he's over there whooping butt at PBC. And there you have it on that. So... In all actuality, this should be a great fight today on Dazza between Alicia Bumgarner and her arch enemy, Christina Leonardo. Let's see it for the Super Featherweight um, Undisputed Championship of the World. Javante Tank Davis, the Cabbage Patch Kid, is free again and his fans are in a frenzy. Will he fight Devin Haney? That's the only question that I have. You know what I'm saying? Because Devin Haney is staying at that division just to see if the negotiations can happen like Tank Davis team has stated. So we'll see if they cap or not. On to other news. You have Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight 14 days out. And Crawford looks like he's in phenomenal shape. He's showing a lot of his character. He's talking to the fans. He's talking to the um to the news outlets. He's making the rounds. He's selling this fight more than Earl Spence, if you ask me. Um, but shout out to Earl Spence for um you know persevering. You know he's not saying anything crazy lately. Um, shout out to WCS uh, Coach Malachi True Media today. Um, and um, it's boxing a huge channel. All of the channels that have been promoting Crawford in a high or higher way. Boxing needs this, and you know, and all of the other fans need this too around the globe. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Shout out to Bernie the boxer for always promoting Terrence Crawford. You know, it's just a slew of people who have been like, you know, really have made this pendulum swing in Crawford's favor as far as fan bases go. And um, yeah, shout out to Frank Martin versus um, this guy. I can't even really pronounce his name, but he's the Ghost Buster. So Frank Martin is the ghost, and this dude is the Ghost Buster. Um, Earl Spence for getting in shape. Um, it should be a great fight. You know, just a lot of different things going on in boxing. You know, oh yeah, can't forget the lightweight division. Shakur Stevenson, shots fired. This kid is everywhere. 
you know, but a lot of people forget Shakur Stevenson was like that at the lower weight class too. Like he was calling out Warrington, he was calling out all of those Frampton, he was calling out all those guys down there. So he's came, he's come up to um, the lightweight division, you know, because he, he's feeling himself. You know, he's beaten a couple, you know, notable boxers at um, you know, at um, at light at um, at one thirty, and now he's just kind of feeling himself, and he's up here, and he's trying to. Strong arm Devin Haney. But Devin Haney, you know, ain't having it. I'm pretty sure Bob Arum ain't having it either. And um, it's just been really comical. But at least the lightweight division is being active. And um, they're trying to make something happen in that division. So I ain't mad at him. It's kind of just comical to me. Shout out to Bob Arum. Because you know he ain't playing. Don't nobody shoot Steve Willis. Whatever you do, do not shoot Steve Willis. We need him around. I let us do. Yeah, see, he got behind the TV. Shout out to uh, One Two Kid for the five video. If you're not subscribed to One Two Kid, you crazy. Dude is comical as hell. Let's get it. Modern King Boxing One. I'm a wolf. True Media Boxing fan. Let's go.